Well, Rob, we are talking about West 25th near Tremont and on the east side near East 105th. These are two areas that have seen some growth recently, but really need some help. People are leaving. And that's something one longtime resident we spent the morning with has watched firsthand. Gary Tycho has lived on Cleveland's west side his whole life. Well, yeah, I'm proud of this area. Here, 40 years. My kids grew up here, you know. Before nearby Tremont. Tremont's, I mean, it's terrific. Was the hot spot it is today. I take my hat off to him because it's working. But Tycho's little west side neighborhood hasn't seen the same growth. His longtime neighbors and friends moving out. The property values went down, you know, tremendously. Business is leaving, but he's stuck around. I'm the only one that stayed. This is home. To see the uh, greatness of, of a neighborhood, I'm not leaving. And he's hoping loyalty will pay off. This is one of two areas the city of Cleveland plans to revitalize. It's refreshing to, to know that they are thinking about us. With the Neighborhood Transformation Initiative, $65 million, 25 from a 2014 bond issue, 40 private commitments from major banks to help with housing, rehab, and small business support for these two areas that have seen growth but need an untraditional boost. People moving in the city, going out. Meaning all of the vacant lots and properties in Patricia Hunter's east side neighborhood. It's a lot of vacant lots where people vandalize and then so much trouble happened. Off 105th may not be vacant too much longer. That'd be nice. I want to see it come back and I want to be able to tell the people that have been telling me when are you going to get out of your neighborhood and come and move in my neighborhood? I put a breakdown of what specific projects this money will fund on our News 5 app. No word yet on when those projects will start up. We're reporting live in Cleveland. Tara Molina, News 5.